Hey everybody, Real with Wes coming at you day four. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, come right at you talking about nourishment with relationships. You know, there's a lot of nourishment that can come from interacting and engaging with people when I'm talking about relationships, your day-to-day -day interactions. Jesus, uh, excuse me, talked about the, after the woman the well, he was like, my nourishment comes from doing and seeing the will of God accomplished. And that's what happens, but that takes engaging with people. As you saw, he was referencing to seeing God's goodness manifest in that woman's life. Uh, and, and that's ultimately what we want to do. We want to be a part of that. Part of life is being poured into and poured back out into others. And that's where our nourishment comes from. And if you don't have that, you're missing that spiritual nourishment. That spiritual nourishment, I'll talk more, is about getting, your, getting out of self and training yourself. But today I want to talk about this different aspect of it. Uh, it takes living by faith. Now, what do I mean by that when I say that? Uh, first of all, you have to depend on God. You're like, man, I don't know how to help this person. I don't know how to love this person. I don't do That's where you depend on God. Yes, you mature over time with repetition, with practice, with good habits, with a with a clear understanding. Don't get me wrong. But the day-to-day -day thing, it's, it's constantly being sensitive to the promptings of the Spirit of God. It's constantly sensitive to respond when it's like you see the opportunity present itself and that goodness wells up on the inside of you. Express it. But it takes faith, depending on God, to show you how to do it, show, show you how God, God intervening in your life. There is a spiritual power and force, uh, a greater power than ourselves, which is God, as we understand his nature, his love, working in us, causing us and giving us the ability to do these things. The other part of it, um, I want to talk about faith, and this is the main thing I want to finish up on. It takes faith in God because we have to say, not my will every day, but yours, God. And being submitted and surrendered to what the Spirit of God wants to take place in those interactions. Many times we try to control the situation to benefit ourselves or we'll help someone as we see fit and how we see fit with the with the transactional part of it where it's like, well, what am I getting out of this? Or I expect this relationship and this interaction to go the way I want it to or I think their best interest is. And that opens up the door for a lot of depression, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger, a lot of disappointment, a lot of hurt when it's our arrogance and pride actually and unsubmissiveness to God to say, God, you do this. And then we wonder why we don't get the nourishment from the relationship like we should. That, because we're trying to control that when at the end of the day, we're just agents of God and we're submitted to God that God chooses to work through us, man, in the way that he sees fit and the way that he wants in himself interpreted. We don't get the box and control on God. It's not how this works. But by being submitted to him, so what am I leaving uh, by me submitted to him? There's the grace to do things, by the way. So if you're getting stuck and frustrated a lot of times, make the decision first to lean on God to do it and show you how to do it and then quit trying to control the whole transaction. So I'm ultimately saying if you'll do this, you'll come with this different serenity and peace that will come flowing out of it. You'll get to reap the benefit of that nourishment that comes from seeing God's goodness accomplished in the way that he intended. And um, it'll keep you stuck out a lot of issues. You'll be a lot happier. You'll be a lot more peaceful. So what are we going to do today? We're going to trust God. God, show me how, where, when, and who. That's that submission part. Next thing is, I'm going to let the, let, let you have control. And I'm going to follow you in this God. And let your will be accomplished. And get mine out of the way. And man, you're going to love that so much more. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, have a great day. And I'll finish this up tomorrow.